The confirmed number of coronavirus cases in Los Angeles County comes to 1,246,436. The confirmed number of deaths comes to 24,415. Here in Torrance, the total number of confirmed cases is 7,472, with total confirmed deaths at 219. Welcome to COVID-19 Today. I'm Rhiannon Trutanich. It's Tuesday, June 15th. For the first time in 15 months, California is reopening its doors to a full economy. And at long last, the day that so many of us have been waiting for has finally arrived. This comes as 72% of adults in our state are now vaccinated. Starting today, there are no more state rules limiting capacity at bars, gyms, restaurants, and supermarkets. Social distancing is no longer required, and vaccinated people don't have to wear masks anymore, although businesses and counties can still require them. Exceptions also exist for a handful of situations such as riding public transit or being in the school, a child care or health care settings. Private businesses and venues can still require everyone to wear a mask as well or ask guests to confirm that they have been vaccinated to avoid wearing a mask. L.A. County issued new local health orders which align with the state's updated guidance. The state's colored-coded reopening system is gone and all counties are able to reopen at the same time. But on the state's website, it states that large-scale indoor events will have vaccination or negative test requirements for attendees through at least October 1st. Governor Newsom's office says 90% of the executive orders issued during the pandemic will be lifted by the end of September. Dodger Stadium is welcoming the state's reopening by hosting a game at full capacity tonight. Fully vaccinated fans can celebrate reopening day without their masks and cheer on the Dodgers as they face the Philadelphia Phillies. The stadium has a 56,000 seat capacity. The first 25,000 fans will receive a Justin Turner bobblehead. Meanwhile, crosstown rivals the Anaheim Angels are also selling full capacity tickets. They made the announcement on their website, letting fans know that single game tickets are up for grabs for the rest of the season home games starting this Thursday. Disneyland also has a reopening today. It's letting guests from outside California visit for the first time since its COVID-19 closure. The happiest place on earth opened its doors to just Californians back on April 30th. Starting today, it's increasing attendance, dropping mask requirements for vaccinated visitors, except when riding a bus and doing away with physical distancing requirements for guests. Every visitor will be asked about their vaccination status before entering the parks, but proof of vaccination is not needed. And they need to acknowledge the state's recommendation that they be fully vaccinated or receive a negative COVID-19 test when making a reservation. Visitors will likely see some signs of Disneyland still dealing with the aftermath of the pandemic. Dozens of attractions and dining locations remain closed, Waiting for rides looks very different now and employees will continue to conduct temperature checks, social distance and wear masks. Disney's Paradise Pier Hotel reopens today and the Disneyland Hotel returns July 2nd, both with reduced capacities. Torrance Community Television reopened its doors today. It serves the public by providing facilities, training, and support to the Torrance community in exercising their First Amendment rights of free speech by utilizing video as a distribution medium. TCTV was closed since March 19th of last year due to the pandemic. Now that it's back, Torrance residents and members of nonprofits or organizations can apply to take part in upcoming programming opportunities and attend future workshops. 
The building features two studios, multiple edit suites, a classroom area, and conference rooms. It opened its doors to the community in June of 1988 and is home to Torrance City Cable. Ten Californians became millionaires today thanks to the state's Vax for the Win lottery. The event was streamed outside of Universal Studios where the Minions, Trolls and even Shrek helped greet Governor Newsom. He selected the lucky few who each won $1.5 million. Four of them were from L.A. County. Anyone 12 years and older who have received at least one dose of a COVID-19 vaccine in California qualify to win the grand prize. State officials will notify the winners who have the option to remain anonymous and the money will be given once the winners are verified of getting both vaccination shots. As of Monday, close to 19 million people were fully vaccinated in California and almost 4 million were partially vaccinated. Newsom announced this incentive program last month in an effort to get more Californians to get the shot. 30 people each won a $50,000 cash prize leading to today's big drawing. The state also gave out gift cards and most recently announced travel packages where Californians can win one of six dream vacations in the Golden State, including food, entertainment and hotel stays. That drawing takes place July 1st. Southern California is on high alert for potential wildfires as the heat wave passes through our region. The San Bernardino National Forest tweeted this picture of the Flats fire. It charred 400 acres as of this morning and was 60% contained at last check. It's burning close to the Pinion Flats Transfer Station and Elks Trail Road in Riverside County. The Casitas fire burned overnight in Ventura County and fire officials there are warning those with health conditions or sensitivities to stay indoors due to poor air quality from the lingering smoke. Here in Torrance, the Ken Miller Recreation Center is opening its doors as a designated cooling center today. LA County Public Health shared this graphic reminding all Angelinos to take simple steps to stay healthy in the heat. They include not leaving children or pets inside cars, avoiding the outdoors during the hottest hours of the day, and drinking lots of water. Torrance is anticipating some much needed funding to improve its roads on a busy part of the city. Congressman Ted Lieu announced that six projects he submitted to the House Committee on Transportation and Infrastructure have been included in the Invest in America Act a bill totaling $547 billion that seeks to modernize bridges, roads, transit, and more across the country. The legislation includes nearly $20 million in federal resources for projects in California's 33rd Congressional District, which includes parts of Torrance. The South Torrance project is estimated to cost more than $652,000 and will provide intersection capacity enhancements at Pacific Coast Highway and Crenshaw Boulevard. Lou says a critical part of his job as a member of Congress is advocating for communities in his district. If signed into law, he says this funding will help ensure that people can travel safely, promote tourism, and protect natural wonders. Kids and young adults looking for a summer job have a great hiring event coming up. The South Bay Workforce Investment Board's second virtual blueprint for workplace success, youth resource and job fair is this Thursday. The Zoom event will feature 16 local businesses that are looking to hire youth for a variety of positions. Amazon, FedEx, 7-Eleven, Starbucks and Walmart are just some of the companies scheduled to be there to look for new talent and help build virtual professional skills. Every 20 minutes, attendees can hear from a rotation of in-demand employers about career options, company culture, and what it's like to work in their field. Participants can also enter a 30-second elevator speech video for a chance to win up to $500 in prizes. The event will be broken down into two sections. Section 1 takes place from 9 to 11.40 a.m. and is targeted for those 18 and over. Session 2 starts at 2 p.m. and ends at 4.40 p.m. and is aimed at those under the age of 18. 
Vaccinated Californians can enjoy a free taco today. Taco Bell is giving away a seasoned beef nacho cheese Doritos Locos taco for free to everyone who shows their COVID-19 vaccination card. The Irvine-based chain is taking part in the governor's Vax for the Win incentive program. Taco Bell CEO Mark King says they're thrilled to do their part and give back to their home state with something everyone knows and loves to celebrate those who have made the decision to get vaccinated. No purchase is necessary to take advantage of this perk. Other deals for vaccinated SoCal residents today include free queso blanco with a purchase at Chipotle and 15% off LA Clippers online store or the Team LA store at the Staples Center. Torrance City Council members will head back into the chambers tonight in a hybrid council meeting. On the agenda is a recommendation from the Cultural Arts Commission and the Community Services Department to accept and file information about a public art tour throughout the city this summer. Also on the agenda is a recommendation from the Public Works Director to adopt a resolution to identify and appropriate funding for the Residential Pavement Improvement Program. And there is a recommendation from the Transit Director to reconsider a resolution related to the Regional Fairless System Initiative pilot. These items and much more will be discussed tonight and can be seen here on our channel, online, and on the city's YouTube and Facebook platforms. You can also find the full agenda at torrentca.gov. The meeting begins at 7 p.m. sharp. Well, before we go, at the end of each program, we like to share feel-good stories from our community. Pictures, images, and videos that remind us of how resilient our community is and how Torrance truly cares. A handful of local donors delivered a total of 50,000 masks to the city of Torrance recently. They gathered at City Hall on June 8th to show their support for the city workers. Donations were originally intended for the fire and police departments, but since the masks are not medical grade, the transit department was able to accept them and have them available for public use. The city is required to provide masks to the public by September 30th, so these donations are much appreciated. What a generous way to show how Torrance cares. Now, if you have a great story, upcoming event, a photo or video you'd like to share, email us at COVID19today at torrentca.gov. We'd love to hear from you. Well, that's our update for COVID-19 today. We'll see you back here tomorrow as Christine Lee brings you the latest. Be safe, stay healthy, and thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time. With each new morning, brings hope. A light at the end of the tunnel. In the meantime, we're doing everything we can to welcome you back safely. So please, Help us by doing your part. Because your safety is our top priority. We can't wait to see you again.